Hey guys, my name is Abhishek and welcome back to MBBS Treasure Channel. In this video, we are going to describe about ionizing radiations pathology. How the ionizing radiations affect the tissue and finally causes the pathological conditions that we are going to analyze in this video. In this modern, vast, scientifically developing world, the radiations are much useful for human to determine various kinds of pathology that's occurring and or that is going to occur inside a human body. In our day-to-day -day life uh, with this vast scientifically growing world, we see both advantages and disadvantages of the radiations. But its side effects causes this pathological conditions in the tissues and that needs to be corrected. If you will go and read about the advantages and disadvantages of the radiation then only we can get the answer of radiation theory and its ionizing properties okay so in this video all we are going to accumulate the informations about the ionizing radiations and how that ionizing radiation will cause the pathological condition in the human beings that we are going to discuss so without wasting time, let's start our today's topic. So in this video, we will read about the ionizing radiations. What do we mean by ionizing radiations? Ionizing radiations means a radiations that will pass through a medium and the medium will get ionized. And what do we mean by that ionized? Ionized means the transformation or the process of transformation of neutral particles to charged particles. Okay. If say for example this is a source it radiating the rays and this source radiates the rays and the rays passes through a medium where the particles were previously neutrally charged but after the radiation ionized these particles they gain their charge somehow like this or somehow like this but they have changed their neutrality to charged ones so this condition will be called as ionization The process of transformations of the particles from neutrally charged to a charged like positively charged or negatively charged condition is known as ionization. So this ionizing radiations means the radiations that causes ionization of the medium. This source is nothing but the day to day life roentogenography or for say example x-rays that we do for determining any kind of fractures that is located in our tissue, bone or anything. This can be considered, this medium can be considered a tissue or a bone. So we are going to read this, how this source causes the pathological condition. Okay. So next we are going to discuss the types of ionizing radiations according to the nature the ionizing radiations is divided into two types first one is the corpuscular and the second one is the quantum type of ionizing radiation corpuscular means the particles with high velocity it means the radiating particles will have high velocity they will move through the medium with specifically high velocity and for example like electron proton neutron alpha beta radiations and quantum means quantum means it's a part of the electromagnetic waves that are present with very high frequency it means the e electromagnetic wave and some of its parts that are moving with very high frequency high frequency means within a very short span of time they will be moving they will be completing their wave cycles okay it means 
वन बाय फ्रीक्वेंसी मींस वन बाय सेकंड पर यूनिट टाइम ओके सो सो क्वांटम मींस द पार्ट ऑफ द इलेक्ट्रोमैग्नेटिक वेव्स विथ वेरी हाई फ्रीक्वेंसी फॉर एग्जांपल इट इज एक्स रेस और गामा रेस ऑफ द अल्ट्रावायलेट रेडिएशंस ओके नेक्स्ट कम्स दिस क्वांटम radiations or quantum ionizing radiations are have it have the penetrating ability it means they have much more penetrating ability than the corpuscular they are the singular particles but these are the partly of electromagnetic waves that's why they are called as quantum and they have high penetrating ability due to which it has highly clinical clinical significance it gets used to penetrate the biological tissues so that we can uh, diagnose different conditions inside the tissue next comes the mechanism of the pathogenic effect of the ionizing radiations if there will be any kind of pathology if there will be any kind of pathology due to the ionizing radiations then how the mechanisms occur the mechanism occurs in two different theories that is the direct effect theory and the second one is indirect effect theory what do you mean by direct effect theory as the word says directly the ionizing radiations will act directly on a tissue it means the radiation will act or it will strike the tissue like a bullet with very high speed it will strike the tissue and that will lead to change in its structure and function the radiation will directly affect the tissue and change its structural functional properties that is known as direct effect theory of radiations and that radiations could be like corpuscular or quantum and secondly indirect effect means indirectly the corpuscular or quantum ionizing radiation will affect the tissue but it will affect indirectly how it will affect indirectly how firstly the radiation will travel through a medium for say a tissue the tissue have the neutral particles the neutrally biochemical particles that are present inside the tissue will get modified to gain their charges and they will be gaining their charges due to this radiation this radiation will affect to gain their charges and as they are now active radicals as they are active radicals and we know the active radicals are mostly unstable elements in the tissue for causing affection of the tissue and then what will happen this tissue will get affected and finally its properties will be changed so how it is considered this active radicals will change the biochemical properties of the cell to physiological affection okay for example if initially there was water inside the tissue due to radiation effect it may get converted into active radicals forms like hydrogen peroxide oxide or superoxide okay and these radicals or active radicals affect the tissues and then in future they get into a conditions that is known as pathology Uh, this question of mechanisms uh, is mostly asked questions by our teacher uh, what is the mechanism of 
pathogenesis of ionizing radiations the answer is there are two theories direct and indirect theory okay next we are going to consider how the ionizing radiation causes different forms of disease according to its doses that we are going to read in a, in my next video okay thank you for watching my video and if it was helpful please give a like and share and comment in the comment section below thank you so much